All right, baseball fans, welcome back to the Big League Baseball Blogs season preview. We are talking about the AL East here, which is probably one of the most popular divisions, I would say, uh, overall, and a very, very competitive division, very interesting this season. I am Zach, uh, your host. Uh, Curtis is is the brains of this operation as far as information goes. The Tim Kirchin, like I said uh, in another preview. That's right. And Morgan's back there producing. Um, this division was kind of won by a different team last year, the Tampa Bay Double Rays. Can they repeat? That was fun to see. That was the story for all of 08, wouldn't you agree with that? Oh, the whole season. It was awesome. It, it was just great to see that there was another team that could compete with the big dogs, especially considering their payroll was probably 25% of what the Yankees and Boston's was. So th- that really made it fun. Um, I Lightning in a bottle. I think it's only going to strike once, unfortunately. I am a Devil Rays fan. I'm wearing a Devil Rays hat. I am a Cardinal fan first, but I'm Devil Rays second. Everybody's like, I jumped on the bandwagon. You knew that was not true. Right. Uh, they were in existence right as I started uh, playing professional soccer down in Tampa, so I just kind of jumped on that bandwagon. I've always rooted for them. Uh, so last year was just great. Um, it's a battle between Boston and the Yankees. The Yankees threw out a quarter of a billion dollars on like three people, uh, three players, maybe even two. It was just the two and Burnett. Just the two. And well, then you Sabathia. had to share in there as well. Yeah, I mean, they threw out $400 million to three guys. Um, and the funny thing is, I still don't have them winning the division. Really? I don't. Um, I I still like Boston. I like the aura around them. I love their GM. They just do it right. I know they spend money, but I know it sounds funny. Their payroll is the second biggest payroll, but don't you feel like it's not as extravagant as the Yankees do it? Do you, you kind of agree with that? Uh, I definitely, I would definitely agree with it. And, and I, know I feel like they're funny. more efficient yeah. with what they do. I know they spend a lot of money, but still. Right. I think the only questionable signing probably in the last five years was the J.D. Drew signing. But you know what? That worked out at times in playoffs. We produced, you know, they just always get something out of somebody. Yeah. So, um, you know, I never thought, you know, a pirate, but uh, sorry, I was just having a little fun with our boy, the pirate fan. Um, truth be told, Jason Bay in the trade, you know, Manny, it ended up being better. Jason Bay really had, you know, a decent second half going in that middle of the lineup. So uh, I really like Boston to win it with Ellsbury. You got the MVP, current MVP, and Dustin Perjoria. I think we all thought that was an upset, uh, him winning the MVP. Big Poppy's healthy. He's hitting third. Euclid's fourth. Bay fit. J.D. Drew, if you can get 100 games out of him, you're lucky. But when he's healthy, he can hit Lowell seventh, Jeld Lowry eighth. They got Veritek hitting ninth, and he's serviceable. At the plate. So uh, with Beckett, Lester, Matsuzaka, Penny, and Wakefield, and Pap Bond closing the door, this team's really set up to make another run this year. Absolutely. And Pajoria is hilarious in that commercial, by the way, for the show. Oh. I laugh every time you I do. I'm just polishing my, my trophy. Sorry. How many MVPs do you know that can't hit that inside pitch? <laughs> exactly. Besides you? Exactly. So let's talk about the Rays. You are the Rays writer for the Big League Baseball blog. You are a fan. They're probably your second favorite team down there. Love uh, them. Why are they not going to do what they did last year? Well, I haven't finished in third, and it's it's just tough. I mean, how many times can you go up to Boston and win? How many times can you go to New York and win? Um, team's just about the same. They add Pat Burrell, but I've never been the huge Pat Burrell fan, uh, but he'll help them. Um you know, Iwo Murrah leading off, that's a question to me when you have Crawford hit in second. Crawford can steal you 50 bases. Uh, Upton, when he gets healthy, he'll only be out the first week. He'll hit third. Reigning rookie of the year, Evan Galnoir hit fourth. Pena hit fifth. I mean, their lineup's pretty nice. Now, the one thing they do have, um, they not rival the Yankees, but in depth on pitching, they're close. I, I think their number five starter needs to be better. I'm really shocked that they sent David Price down. I don't know if you are. He was the hero for that squad, no doubt about it. Getting out of tough jams, the closer of the squad through the playoffs. Uh, he's just that stud left-hander. I think you have him in the whole season. They still might steal the division again. You got James Shields, Casimir, Garza, Sonnenstein. Right now it's Jason Hamill. I don't know how long it's going to last. I don't know how long they can keep this David Price kid down. Uh, he's sick. Oh, he's nasty. <laughs> he's awesome. I heard a, one quote from him. He said that every time he steps on the mound, he's he's thinking, I'm going to throw a perfect game. I'm going to throw an O-hitter. Yep. I mean, 
what kind of uh, that's amazing mentality he's just got great stuff that that's my shock and, and my parents live about five miles from the new uh cal ripkin minor league park uh can't wait to go down and visit them but that's right you know it's only a couple hours south of tampa everybody's kind of shocked but you know what you can't question what joe madden's done what he did last year with that team he knew everything about that team what buttons to push you can, like I said, you can't question him. So if he thinks he needs just a couple months of more seasoning, good for him and makes him even better when he comes back up. So if they would happen to win this division and slip in again, we're talking probably two teams that are going to be fighting for what will most likely be the wild card possession coming out of that division, the Yankees and the Sox. 